Back to the grind for the Dallas Cowboys here in Oxnard. They just wrapped up a walkthrough practice a couple of hours ago. They're gearing up for the second preseason game of the season against the Las Vegas Raiders. A lot to unpack, though, still about the Rams game here on Inside Cowboys Training Camp presented by Ford. Nicole Edgerson and Mickey Spagnolo. we've got to talk about the run game. All right. Uh, Rico Doddle, I mean, averaged 4.7 yards a pop on Sunday against the Rams. How impressed were you with just his ability to just do that? Well, I think it was a continuation of what he did last year. I think uh, as a second running back last year behind Tony Pollard, I think Rico showed that he's a running back that can carry the load if you really need to put it on him. And I think the combination of Ezekiel Elliott and Rico uh, will take care of this running game. I know a lot of people were concerned about it. They didn't draft one. They didn't sign a veteran guy. Well, they did sign a veteran guy. They signed Ezekiel Elliott. And they, and they knew in their back pocket if they drafted a running back in the third, fourth, fifth round, is that guy going to be better than Rico Dottle? And I doubt it. Yeah about the other rest of the guys who got some chances, Snoop Connor, Nathaniel Pete, but between five running backs, they all only had 23 carries. Of course, with Trey Lance, the leading rusher in that game, uh, were you con are you concerned at all about the depth at the running back room? Well, I think uh, Malik Davis is kind of, uh, to me, putting his hand up in the air and said, hey, don't forget about me, even though he was on the practice squad last year. I think he still can be productive and I think the other thing that everybody's overlooking is Mike McCarthy likes to keep a fullback on the roster and Hunter Lepke uh, has been moved around. He's given him more responsibility and I've also seen him use in a one-back situation. Uh, so let's not forget him. So those are three guys I want to see who gets the fourth spot if yeah. they do keep a fourth running back. When you talk about that fourth spot, do you feel like Deuce Vaughn maybe has a chance to get that fourth spot? Well, he's losing traction right now just because of the injury he suffered, soft tissue injury, uh, and he hasn't been able to practice for a week. So uh, it's really important for him to get back healthy, get out there, and at least get in one, if not both of these next two uh, preseason games to kind of show his versatility. They've been using him some in the slot as a wide receiver, motioning him out as a wide receiver. Uh, but again, he's got to show that he not only can he handle the running back situation, but contribute on special teams. And that's where he kind of fell short last year because if he's not the returner, he's not exactly a guy that you want going down covering kicks. Well, the preseason's all about chances. Hopefully Deuce Vaughn can take advantage of his opportunity if he gets one against the Raiders on Saturday. But you know who did receive quite a few chances? Trey Lance. How did he take advantage of his against the Rams? That's up next. Inside Cowboys Training Camp, presented by Ford, is brought to you by AT&T, official sponsor of the Dallas Cowboys. Sleep Number, the official sleep and wellness partner of the Dallas Cowboys. And by your North Texas Ford dealers. Ford is the best in Texas. This segment is brought to you by Academy Sports and Outdoors, official sporting goods retailer of the Dallas Cowboys. Trey Lance's opportunity to run the offense was on full display on Sunday. He played every series except the first, and in that time, he only completed 25 of 41 passes for 188 yards, no interceptions, no touchdowns. And here's what he had to say about leaving a few plays off the field. Um, so it was a ton of fun, learned a ton from it and learned a ton from the tape. But uh, yeah, I mean, we want to score touchdowns for sure. First live action in roughly about a year and a half. How long did it take for the nerves to kind of melt away? Uh, I think once I got out there, um, once I get in the huddle with those guys, I think just looking across and making eye contact with those guys gives me all the confidence in the world. Like knowing the work that they put in and that we put in together since, since the spring um, was good. But yeah, I thought settled in more and more every snap I got and excited for next week. There were a couple moments, you know, Crop was open early in, in the end zone on that one throw, you know, just missed him and then Cam Johnson deep, you know, what are the little tweaks that you need to make to, to connect on those plays? I just make the throw. <laughs> yeah, make the throw. Use your legs a couple times. When did you feel like, you know, you knew that that was the right uh, I think it's just kind of a feel. Um, you get a good feel for it as the as the game progresses. And uh, yeah, I thought 
good decisions, bad decisions. I think it's another thing that I got to see on tape um, to see when, you know, when I should have gone, when I should have got the ball in my hand. Just Every looking night. at your young offensive line on that, um, I believe, 19-yard runs that you had on that conversion, uh, Tyler Guy, he throws a guy out the club. Can you just talk about the fact that he's missed practice because of illness, but he's able to come in and, and do that in an NFL preseason game? Yeah, yeah, I think you see how, you know, he's a first-round pick for a reason. You know, he's a, he's a real special guy, um, super talented and great, great human being as well. Uh, so it's been fun for me to, to get to, you know, as many reps as I have with him. Um, and it's fun definitely to, to see him in the huddle with me. How do you balance, how do you balance knowing that you can always rely on your legs to get out of a, out of a spray, but you want to show you have a command of this offense? And you, I mean, what, did that play into it some today? I mean, would you have taken off a few more times if it wasn't just, well, I want to show my command of the offense? Uh, I think maybe that's more of a practice mindset. Um, try to stay in the pocket and make the throw if I can. But uh, once you get in the game, I think it's, it's truly a feel. If there's third down and I feel space, I can go move the chains of my legs. I'm going to go do that every time. What do you said about your, in the huddle, your leadership is efficient and confident. How would you describe the way you try to lead that huddle? Yeah, that's exactly how I try to be. Um, just try to get guys in and out of the huddle. I thought they did a great job. I mean, we, we put some, some 10, 11 play drives together. Uh, it just, you know, sucks when we didn't finish them. I got to be better in that, in that area, in the red zone and the logo zone. Uh, but yeah, I, that's exactly what I try to be with those guys. What are the conversations you have with Brian Schottenheimer between series? Uh, just talking about, you know, different things that he sees, different things that I see, really making sure we're on the same page and then, you know, kind of previewing, you know, whether we're on the openers or what we're thinking, third down, red zone calls, things like that. And did, with the yeah, fan running down the middle, I don't know if you saw that on the sideline. Uh, do you look at that and say, how did I miss him? Or you do, is that something that you'll notice yeah. On the bus ride back home or? Yeah, no, I, I saw it um, on the pictures. It's one of those things. I think I was a little bit ahead of it, too fast with my feet, and uh, corner played a little bit between. Honestly, on the field, I thought I should have just went to the back quicker. Um, I ended up, I think I threw it to shallow to Cam sitting down in the middle of the field. But uh, yeah, there's there's plays like that across the board. Um, you know, it happens, and I think that that's one of those things uh, I learned from. You know, don't make the same mistake twice. This segment was brought to you by Academy Sports and Outdoors official sporting goods retailer of the Dallas Cowboys. We're going to wrap things up on Inside Cowboys Training Camp presented by Ford, Nicole Hutchison, Mickey Spagnola, and one of the other biggest news of camp so far, left tackle Chuma Idoga will be out for quite some time with a toe injury. Uh, what's a quick update on that? Yeah, he uh, suff it's his left big toe and he suffered a dislocation. So uh, chances are, uh, you know, six to eight, nine weeks, could be three months. So the Cowboys have to make a decision there if they're going to keep him on the 53 and then put him on an IR so he could return, or if they think they just need that spot on the 53, uh, he could be placed on IR. It would be out for the season. It really hurts the depth uh, at that uh, left tackle position. Uh, Tyler Guyton got to step up and yeah. be the guy, and after that, they're going to have to develop a backup swing tackle. How comfortable are you having so much, not so much experience on this uh, offensive line? Yeah, not very. And uh, the problem is when it comes to offensive linemen, they're not sitting out there in free agency, or if they're worth anything, they don't get cut at the 53. Mm -hmm. Uh, so they're going to have to develop a young guy. With what you saw in left tackle Tyler Guyton right on Sunday, were you impressed at all that he can actually carry that load? Yeah, especially since he hadn't practiced all week. He missed three practices with a chest cold, came back, got, uh, I believe it was 11 snaps, something like that, mm -hmm. and uh, handled himself well, but they need him to step up yeah. and be the guy at left tackle. I believe he can step up. A lot of guys are expected to step up here heading into the second preseason game. We'll have more coming up for practice. Join practices Wednesday against the Rams. We'll have more coverage on Inside Cowboys Training Camp. Inside Cowboys Training Camp, presented by Ford, was brought to you by AT&T, official sponsor of the Dallas Cowboys. Sleep Number, the official sleep and wellness partner of the Dallas Cowboys. And by your North Texas Ford dealers. Ford is the best in Texas.